Now on 7 News, when death investigations involve skeletal remains, they require specialized training. But experts say people with that level of expertise are few and far between. And a 7 News exclusive, our Henry Coburn takes us behind the scenes for forensic anthropologist inside the job. Forensic anthropologists are so rare that when most law enforcement agencies investigate skeletal remains, they have to call in the state law enforcement division or SLED for help. That is not the case with the Greenville County Coroner's Office as one of these experts on staff. If we have law enforcement find a human bone or a bone period used to, we would respond out there, collect the evidence, bring the evidence back into a forensic pathologist, let the forensic pathologist pathologists make the determination of whether or not it was human. That's no longer the case for the Greenville County Coroner's Office, which now has one of these experts on staff. We previously reported on February 27th, someone found a human skull in the woods on Oscar Street in Greenville. As the coroner's office began to investigate, they knew who to call. He showed me a picture of a human skull and he said, do you want to go? And I was like, of course I want to go. Mallory Cameron is a deputy coroner with an education in forensic anthropology. This is pretty much just the skin that was left over. If anyone knows bones, it's Cameron. She's specially trained to identify stages of human decomposition and can identify bones even from fragments. With just one look, she can tell you the bone's name, whether it's fake or real, where it fits into the human body, and the age and sex from whom it came. These skills were put to the test in the February case. It was like around one or two o'clock and the deputy coroner that had gotten the original call, um, he calls me and I thought he was going to have a heart attack. He goes, Mallory, I swear I'm looking at leg bones. And I said, where are you? Cameron took us out to the scene along Oscar Street where she sorted remains during the investigation and helped investigators make a tentative ID. We recovered a majority of that skeleton. Um, there are just a few like finger and, and toe bones that are missing. Because her skill set is so specialized, not many other coroners have their own anthropologists on staff and instead rely on SLED for help or ask the Greenville County Coroner's Office for Cameron's assistance. Mallory has been a godsend to our office, realistically. We have uh, shared Mallory's experience and her knowledge with Many of the coroner's offices in this state, uh, South Carolina Law Enforcement Division has had her out on calls. Cameron's job is crucial in investigating cases with skeletal remains and bringing closure to families whose loved ones are missing. Every case is different and some cases hurt worse than other cases, but you know, helping families out is rewarding and you know, it makes you feel good that you were able to help someone when they were in their worst times. As for the Oscar Street remains, Cameron is still chasing down leads, trying to make a confirmation on the ID and bring peace of mind to that person's loved ones. For now in Greenville, Henry Coburn, 7 News. And in her first case, assisting Lawrence County, Cameron determined that suspected human remains were in fact fake. She keeps the plastic jawbone from that case on her desk.